How's it going lads, Phil Potter here and welcome to the second episode of Road to a Better Bollocks FC. Now we smashed 1000 likes on the first episode, that is absolutely absolutely outrageous. I even liked the video myself which is a little bit weird, uh, you know it's like liking your own Facebook post or something like that. It's just, it's just people don't generally do it but I am weird and I decided to do it. Uh, so over 1000 people, Jesus Christ, I'm just thinking right, you clicked the thumbs up button right, so imagine 1000 people putting their thumbs on my body, that would be very 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 stra a very strange situation, but I decided to do the Team of the Week Challenge just for the manager tasks, and I went with semi-pro, <laughs> and lads, Jesus Christ, I, it was two all at half time, I'm, I, I am absolutely rubbish at FIFA at the moment, you know, but look at that goal from Arnautovic, I know it's only against semi-pro, but that was just a delicious little finish, and of course, Shane Long, a little bit cheeky, that's what I like to see, uh, I got an achievement saying, I'm not afraid of you, who would be afraid of semi-pro, like, being afraid of semi-pro is like being afraid of a daddy long legs with no legs you know the whole scary thing about a da daddy long legs is it's got these big lanky long legs you know what I mean uh, but I apologize I've gone off on a tangent twice in the space of a minute or something so I'll just stick to it a bit more now but look at that first strike from Bartram that was an incredible goal and then <laughs> my defending was a bit suspect there I don't know what was going on that seems to happen quite a bit to me where my defenders just fly all over the shop without getting anywhere near the ball what do you think have, have you found that as well or is it just me being a plonker but anyway at half time you can see this guy probably does deserve his lead and then early on in the second half he doubles his lead the big filthy bollocks uh, a lovely header in fairness from Bafatimbi Gomis and then look at this Maxim he seems to be a player that kind of oozes a bit of class now you'll see that a bit, a bit more in this episode too but in the 83rd minute we're two goals down what do you do? You give the ball to Arnautovic. He's lost the ball away. We're back in business. Not long after that, we get another chance. Kevin Rallas, that ball roll was timed absolutely perfectly. And the ball took a huge deflection off his defender and went into the back of the net. So that counted as an own goal. And we get one more chance in the 90th minute. Is this the comeback of dreams? Abdelawi, what a... Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I have a little orgasm here. Uh, I would have splooged absolutely everywhere if that had gone in, but the save was absolutely incredible. It was a good effort to be down 2-0 in the 83rd minute or whatever to end up getting a 2 all draw. I was pretty happy with that. So I bought I buy El Yanusi here. Now, I'm not going to lie, I thought that was the five-star skill. Elianusi I bought because how many Elianusis are there in this world let's be honest uh, unfortunately he's, still, he's got four star skills so it's an improvement on the end of the uh, of my last episode that concept squad I had it's a little bit of an improvement and we end up getting a penalty a little lucky penalty I like the way Maxim just leaves his foot in there and Kabul trips him up we get a penalty and look at Mavinga just staring down the keeper what an absolute lunatic it's like he's, he's psyching him out you know, and here we go, lads. Let's do it. But anyway, um, um, titty goes in for a filthy challenge here, and he ends up getting sent sent off. Now I know he got sent off, but I have to applaud him on a surname. If I had a surname like um, titty, I swear to God. Mark Um Titty, oh my god, it's like a dream come true. But here's what I was talking about earlier on. Maxim oozes class. Look at these skills. Uh, in fairness, my opponent was flying into the tackle, so it was quite easy to get by him. But uh, we were unlucky not to score. The shot was quite poor, but the build up was absolutely delicious. And it's time for that man, Mavinga, to, to make his claim here. Wait till you see this. Mavinga, Mavinga. Mavinga, Mavinga. Mavinga, Mavinga. Now, on the 17th of September, I, I wrote on the Foothead website, on Mavinga's uh, page, me and you are going to have a good time together, Chris. I know it says you've only got 29 volleys, but don't worry, I'll be spanking them in non-stop with you while listening to this. And obviously that, that music is the Mavinga song. And, well, little did I know, in the second episode of this series, I would score a volley with Mavinga while listening to that tune. It's like a dream come true. I can read the future. But look at this, Manuel Neuer, you know, close your legs, you slut. This is just a single, uh, single tournament, uh, sorry, an offline tournament because I just needed to build up my fitness of the other players and that. Uh, I've got coin boosts on here. I'm not sure if I said that already, but I've got a bit of coin boosts going on here as well. And then look at my manager here, Liam Buckley. He looks terrifying.
I feel bad now. Sorry about that, Liam Buckley. You're just a ginger Irish man. <laughs> I mean, there's so many of them here uh, that it's, it's not actually that strange to see. But this is the next opponent we come up against. I, when, whenever I see 100 chemistry this early on in the game, I kind of go, oh, bollocks, this guy's going to be good. And then, he, of course, he got an early goal in the eighth minute to go 1-0 up. But look at this. Abdelawi, this guy is incredible. He's actually... I see him gets got saw him get slagged off a little bit for being shy. Look at the technique there. He did not look at the ball, come from behind him, and he just swung his boot. I don't know, he must have eyes in the back of his head, because that was absolutely outrageous. What a finish that was. Uh, and there's plenty more sexy finishes coming from him too. Look at this ball roll. Oh, perfectly timed once again. And on his bad foot, he slots the ball away. Oh, absolutely delicious. But straight away, this game was a little bit mental. It's just action packed. He got he gets the ball, it's two all. Now I find Abdelawi once again and have a look at this. He wellies the shite out of it and the ball hits the back of the net. And not only does the ball hit the back of the net, but Morales, I don't know if you saw it there, but he gave Abdelawi a little spank on the arse. Have a look at this. Cheeky, cheeky. It was so cheeky. And look how happy Abdelawi is with a little spank on his arse, pumping the fist like mental. Right, Leo, I know it was really a, a little tap on the back, but we'll just say it was a spank on the arse. We'll pretend Abdelawi's arse is halfway up his back, all right? because I'd much rather a little spank on the bum than a, than a tap on the back, you know. Now, I've lost control of myself once again. Abdelawi was outrageous in that game. Uh, conceding a goal in the 90th minute was a kick in the teeth, I have to say. Well, that's okay. We're, we're, we're gaining momentum, I'll say. Uh, although that was a proper kick in the teeth. So what am I talking about? That's it for today's episode. If you did enjoy, do leave a like. Like, the last episode was unbelievable. I couldn't believe we hit over 1,000 likes. I only asked for 500. But uh, I want to start recording seasons kind of footage soon. So if, if you have any teams I should use uh, in just normal online mode, not Ultimate Team, you know, uh, leave that in the comments below because I'd love to test out some different teams uh other than that have a good one lads and i'll talk to you again soon see you later now don't forget that i, love you. <laughs> I really do love you <laughs> oh god uh yeah go on lads have a good one